Hey, it's Andrew. I'm here to show you today how we bootstrap Automation Studio projects from scratch. We at Loop have a lot of reusable code that we've created over the years, and this comes in either PLC library format or PLC executable tasks. We store our code in a GitHub registry for easy reuse and sharing. We've built on top of this a tool called LPM, which is short for the Loop Package Manager. This is what we use to manage these packages and their dependencies. So I'm gonna show you how I can use LPM to bootstrap an AS project from scratch. From the command line, I'm in an empty directory, uh, nothing there, and I'll call LPM init. When prompted to initialize the directory with a new project, I'll say yes, and this is gonna pull in a bare bones Automation Studio project that I can then build on. Uh, you can see the bare bones components here. I'll configure it uh, with defaults from the command line and then I'm good to go. Next, I can type LPM AS, and this will open Automation Studio and point back to the project I just created. Here we have AS that's up and running. Uh, just a libraries folder, nothing from Loop yet, but a bunch of Automation Studio or BNR, BNR libraries. So let's say I wanna install uh, Loop's Piper package. Uh, so there's a library called Piper and there's a um, package that wraps it called Piper PKG. So I can say LPM install Piper PKG. We'll see that it's adding some content to my logical view here. It created a few Loop libraries here, Piper, and then its dependencies. And under machine control, we have a task that implements Piper. Next, let's say I wanna pull in our library for communicating with uh, ABB robots called A3BR. I can first call the view command to see what versions are available. And if I'm happy with that, I can install it. So we have 0.3.5 available. I'll say install A3BR. And here's A3BR as its own library. Currently, LPM is a tool that we use internally, and it really helps speed up development within our dev team. We are excited about sharing more of our libraries with the community and have considered maybe uh, making LPM an, a public tool in the future. If this type of tooling is something that's interesting to you, please leave a comment below or reach out.